everybody. So I have a great outdoor circuit for you today. This is going to be a cardiovascular circuit. So we're going to do a lot of movements that are going to get the heart rate up and get us sweating, hopefully in some beautiful outside weather. So our movements in today's outdoor circuit are going to include burpees, high knees, skaters, butt kicks, squat jumps, and jump roping. And then at the end of each circuit, we're going to do two minutes of running or jogging. So each of our cardiovascular movements in the circuit are gonna last for 30 seconds a piece. You're gonna actually transition from movement to movement with no rest in between. So this is gonna be a continuous circuit, again, to really push the intensity and increase the level of challenge with this workout. After you do all six of the movements at a 30 second interval each, you're gonna do your two minutes of running or jogging, and then you get to rest for a very brief 30 seconds before you begin the next circuit. And we're gonna do five circuits total in this workout today. So starting off with our body weight burpee. Remember that for a burpee, we're gonna hinge forward from the hips, plant the hands to the ground, jump the feet back, drop the body all the way to the ground, push your body back up, jump the feet into the hands, stand up, bringing the arms up overhead with every repetition. So our burpees are gonna be a nice full body movement, very high intensity to get all the muscles working and get that heart rate up nice and fast. So next we're gonna move into our high knees. So nice tall posture, and then you're gonna alternate, bringing one knee up at a time towards the lower abs and the chest. So you wanna to try to drive the knee as high as you can with each repetition to increase the intensity of the movement. After that, we have our skaters. So we're gonna be moving side to side to change up the direction of the movements that we're using in this workout. So we wanna start nice and tall with feet together. Choose a side to start with. I'm gonna to go to my right side and we're gonna launch, load the knee by bending into it just a little bit and then exploding to the opposite side, landing and rebounding off of the ball of the foot, sinking into the heel, pushing the butt back just a little bit before you begin each repetition. Next, we're gonna move into our butt kick. So changing the direction of our movement again to behind the body. So nice and tall, feet together. And then you're gonna alternate bringing one heel at a time up towards the glutes. Keep your posture nice and tall and keep this movement nice and fast. So next is gonna be our squat jump. So I'm gonna show you that from the side. Make sure you bring your feet hips width apart, drop down into a body weight squat, keeping the weight in the heel and the chest up. And then we're gonna launch out of that squat and jump up nice and high up into the air, landing back onto the ball of the foot and then sinking down into the heel for the next squat. So last we have jump rope. So if you don't have an actual jump rope, don't worry. You're just gonna simply mind the movement by bringing your feet together, hands to your sides, nice tall posture. And then we're gonna jump off the ball of the foot and the toes, nice and light in a nice continuous motion. So after we finish our six 30 second movements in the circuit, we're gonna go ahead and do our two minutes of running. Now you can supplement this for a jog or a speed walk if you want as well. Then we're gonna start back at the top of the circuit. Now I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like now when we put all these movements together in a circuit fashion. your awesome outdoor cardio circuit. Don't forget to incorporate that two minutes of running or jogging at the end of each of your rounds of those six movements for 30 seconds a piece. Remember, try not to rest during each round. Just that little bit of rest in between rounds is all you're gonna need for this one. Good luck, guys.